First of all, forgive me for my hair, because I know some of you are commenting right now. Get a haircut is on my list of things to do before Christmas, along with finish cleaning this apartment. Now, I want to start this video off um, talking about PvP. Yesterday, I asked the question on Twitter, do you care about PvP in Pokemon Go? And out of 23,000 people that responded, over half said no. Over half don't care about PvP. So today, I want to start by just kind of talking about it. I want to uh, share my thoughts, I want to get your feedback, because PvP clearly is not the game-changing feature edition that a lot of us hoped or expected it would be. I immediately asked the follow-up question for those who say it's boring or lacks strategy, what have your results been? And almost half of those respondents said they've mostly been winning, which kind of ties into some things I'm gonna say now. So I'll just say them now. I wanna start by saying, first of all, not everyone is competitive. Not everyone wants to play Pokemon Go competitively. Not everyone wants to compete against other players. And that's fine. We, we always knew that that was gonna be the case. Some people just don't want to battle other people. Totally okay. But for a lot of other people, especially those who say they've mostly been winning, I think another issue is a lack of challenge. Some people just don't feel challenged in PvP because they aren't able to find quality opponents or haven't been able to find people who really enjoy it or, or take it as seriously as they would like to. For me personally, I have the most fun when I'm battling my friend Ken because um, he's actually really good at it. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's just tap, 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 but it's, it's really so much more than that. If it was just tap, 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 using the strongest Pokemon would be fine all the time, but there's actually a lot of strategy and complexity involved it's just sort of hidden under the fact that, you know, you're tapping your screen for the entire time. And I will say that I think if I have to explain to people why PvP is fun, then it's probably not that fun. Um, I think maybe Niantic missed the mark slightly on that, and definitely the system does need a little bit of improvement. It could use... Um, we have expectations for things like status effects and abilities, and, you know, down the line, um, fairly confident that Niantic is thinking about adding those things, but for now, there really is um, there really is a fair amount of strategy involved. You just have to know where that strategy lies. Another big response is that people want some kind of indicator to know when their friends are online and they can challenge them. And the thing about this is I think that's kind of uh, goes against what Niantic's plans for PvP are. The way I see it, the way I understand it, Niantic really just wants to give us this really simple system. They just want to give us the battles, and they kind of want to put it on communities to develop their own systems and organization around that. And luckily, that's what we're doing with the Silph League Arena, which will be launching very soon. So communities will soon be able to host their own tournaments. The issue with people wanting to see when their friends are online is that I don't think Niantic really intended for that to be the main way that people battle. Um, they limited it to ultra and best friends because they want some significant amount of time investment. Um, people are asking for random online battles or some kind of online matchmaking. I don't think that's something that Niantic is really seriously considering as an option for PvP. Um, remember, this is a social game. Every major feature that we've had added to the game in the last year and a half, two years, has had a large social focus. We have raids where you have to get together with people and battle. We have friendship where obviously you are socializing and making friends. And with PvP, I think Niantic's intention is the same. Obviously, they want to promote social gameplay. They don't want people sitting at home at their desk and just battling people online. They want you going outside. That's the whole point of Pokemon Go. So yes, I think definitely an indicator for when your friends are online or playing the game, actively playing so that you can challenge them to a battle. I think that's definitely something that we should have, but I don't think we'll ever see any kind of online matchmaking, at least not in the near future. The emphasis is definitely on social gameplay. This is just the foundation, and they want us and, and local communities to build on this foundation in social ways. Lots of people are also saying that they're only doing PvP for the rewards, and I think, again, that probably comes back to just not enjoying it for whatever reason. Um, whether that be a lack of challenge, whether that be um, a lack of knowledge, some people maybe 
are intimidated by not actually being super familiar with type advantage because as it stands now, type advantage and knowing your, your type effectiveness, being familiar with Pokemon typing and the moves that they could potentially be running, that's where most of the strategy lies in PvP right now. Some people are asking for better rewards out of PvP. I don't think that's necessary. I think what we need is structure. What we need is organization. What we need is the Sylph League Arena. I think the Sylph League Arena and organized play for Pokemon Go PvP is going to go a long way for uh, making it more enjoyable for people, especially those people who say they're constantly winning and they're bored because of it. You're going to be able to find serious competitors, you're going to be able to find people to play with. This also alleviates the issue of just wanting to play your friends online because it is a lot of trouble to go out and find someone and battle them. Um, with organized play through the Sylph League Arena, you'll know exactly when and where people are gathering to have PvP tournaments. You'll be able to find a lot of people to battle at once. It's minimal effort required on your part. Uh, as long as your community is organizing and actively participating in the Sylph League arena, then they'll just tell you where and when to go, and you'll have tons of people to battle, and people who are taking it seriously, which in my opinion makes it a lot more fun. If there's a challenge, it's a lot more rewarding to overcome that challenge. Again, I don't think PvP is not a fun system. I personally have a lot of fun with it. Um, I know after we had our tournament last week when PvP first launched, Everyone had a lot of fun battling, even after the tournament, after the live stream. We went out to eat together, and everyone was still battling because they enjoyed it so much. So I think when you get people together in a group um, and, and kind of compete with each other, that's when PvP is at its best. And I think that's what Niantic intended, um, but without any sort of organizational structure around that, it's hard to make those, it's hard to kind of make those situations happen. Um, and again, that's what the Sylph League Arena aims to do. So again, that's linked in the description. If you want to get involved, um, you'll be able to host tournaments and hopefully create those sort of environments for people to really enjoy PvP at its best. So now my follow-up question, I guess, is are you interested in competitive Pokemon Go PvP? If someone was organizing a tournament in your community, if you knew that, um, you know, 40 people, even 20 people, even 8 people. It's fun with 8 people. Uh, if you knew that a group was coming together in your community, people that you know, friends that you've made through playing Pokemon Go, if you knew that they were coming together to, to battle each other, would you be more interested that way rather than, you know, kind of sitting at home and trying to find out who's available for a battle online? I think it's better that way, but I want to know what you think. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep making videos about PvP strategy even though they don't perform as well because, again, more than half of people apparently don't care about PvP right now in its current state. But we'll keep going over that because almost half of you do care. And I care. And it's fun. So the more fun I'm having with it, maybe um, I can kind of share some of that and uh, get people more interested in it. In the meantime, make sure you're following at SylphGG on Twitter and get ready because competitive play is coming and I think that is going to make things a lot more fun. Also, I want to start today's video with a little story. I've been cleaning up the apartment because we're having a Christmas party for my friends um, this weekend. So I was going through all of the fan mail and stuff that I've been sent and trying to organize it, you know, get it kind of neatly put on the shelves and then also put some of it into storage um, because I just don't have room for it. I appreciate it, but I don't have a place to put all of it. And then last night I had this dream that I was swimming upstream on a package conveyor belt. You know, have you ever seen those videos of like what 
behind the scenes of shipping things looks like with boxes just coming down all these different rollers and stuff I was on a roller roller coaster and packages were flowing past me and I was scrambling to get past them through the jungle I don't know why we were in the jungle and people were just watching me I'm swimming upstream in packages trying to figure out what to do with them anyway that's not to say don't keep sending me packages because I appreciate getting them I just got to work on a, a solution for what to do with it all in other news, January Community Day has been announced. Dota Dial. Are you surprised? I guess the big news here is that we actually have a date. January 12th and 13th in Asia Pacific. So again, Niantic is putting Asia Pacific last as far as uh, Community Day goes because they've had so many issues with it. So during the event, uh, Dota Dial will obviously be out in crazy numbers. Lure modules are going to last three hours and Croconaw is going to have a special move when you evolve it to for alligator so i guess for alligator is going to have the special move it will be hydro cannon um they're kind of acting like that's going to be a surprise but we know the pattern by now that's going to make for alligator a strong pokemon in pvp hydro cannon is one of the best pvp moves um blastoise is one of the best pvp pokemon in great league at least for alligator is more offensive than blastoise so maybe it won't be as good as blastoise but definitely another new choice to be using in PvP. So make sure you evolve a few Croconaw at different levels so you can maybe have uh, potentially Hydro Cannon for Alligator for each of the different leagues. Mm, probably just great in Ultra League. Oh also, four times incubator effectiveness. So if we still have all these shiny baby Pokemon in 7 kilometer eggs, Community Day is going to be a good day to hatch a bunch of them. Or as many as you can get done in three hours. I decided to come check out a new park, park I've never been to, egg hatching. I don't know if this is the best park. Basketball court? I don't have a basketball. And a lot of grass. Not sure what to do with it. Uh, one Pokestop. Okay, maybe we'll go to a more familiar park. A park where I know I can walk around. Oh, don't spin that. Because, with that egg, I now have uh, one my last egg slot, let me just find a great friend here so we can get closer to Ultra. How about... Oh, huh. Antigladys. Open the gift, hope for an egg. Got it. With that, nine seven kilometer eggs going up right now. 4.7 kilometers to walk until I can maybe hatch a new Gen 4 baby Pokemon, or if I'm really lucky, spoiler alert, I'm not, I can maybe hatch a shiny baby Pokemon. All seven incubated. Now I can safely spin the Pokestop and head down the street to a park where I know there's a lot more to walk around and do there. I'll catch these two, but we're going over there. Change of plans. Same park, but with a basketball. playing on my mini hoop. Let's see how much that counted for on Adventure Sync. Hey, great friends with Nassim from Morocco. And, and, just waiting for the Adventure Sync notification. Nope, we'll just check the eggs. 0.8, not bad. Is it? It wasn't that long. 
At least I got some credit. Shiny check? No. Oh, my lens is dirty. Oh, uh, different park. Two Momwell raids, why not? First shiny check. Just trying to get these eggs hatched. Two and a half kilometers to go. There's actually people in this raid. Oh, I totally should have used a Pokemon with two moves just to, because I actually I haven't done that at all yet. To show you and to show myself. Oh, we're done. Wish me luck. All right, we've got one more down here. Remind me to bring a Pokemon with two moves. Char two charge moves. They all have two moves. It's a little darker at this raid. Can you see me? You can hear me. You can see this. Who's got two moves? And would deal okay damage? Not many of you. Oh, Charizard. Perfect. Look at those two beautiful moves. It's kind of a beautiful thing to see. Here you go, a Dragon Claw, which you double resist. Interesting to see how they work here. Obviously pulling from the same energy pool, so same way it's always been. 50 energy cost for the two bars, 33 energy cost for the three bars. Obviously 100 max energy. Just keep using the... the... Hello? It's nice to have options. It's also nice to have shiny. So I've heard. I don't really know much about it. Remember this? Took an AR picture of a Christmas Pikachu here like two years ago. Wow. Two years ago. Finally. Made it home. Eggs are hatching. Nine. Seven kilometer eggs. These are the babies I'm hoping for, at the very least. Uh, new Gen 4 Pokemon. The chances of me finding a shiny are about the same as the chances of anyone else finding a shiny, but somehow, it still doesn't happen. But let's be positive. Munchlax, Mantike, and Chingling are all hatching. These are all babies. So we're at least on the right track there. Gen 4 babies. Come on, Munchlax. Wait a minute. All right, maybe this will help. These are new eggs. These are new eggs, I swear. I said I'd never be mad about that. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. Stocking up and go park. Technically a Gen 4 baby, so I can't complain there. Munchlax, Munchlax, Munchlax. Next time.